Hey everyone, this is Mark at Short Action Customs. I want to introduce a new modular sizing die, which will be replacing our precision resizing die series. The modular resizing die is the next evolution in precision reloading. In this video, we're going to do some details of the new die. We're going to go over the features and benefits, and we're also going to show you how to set up your modular sizing die. When you pick it up, you're going to notice it looks just like our precision resizing die, except there's no shoulder detail in here. All of that is machined into our neck shoulder bushing. So with this design, you simply buy a die body, and this one's a BRA, and then you buy your caliber specific neck shoulder bushing. So this die body right here could size brass uh, for a six BRA, a 22 BRA, you know, a 30 cal BRA if you made one. So this new modular design sizes the cartridge body and then you just buy this uh, neck shoulder bushing to do whatever size necks you want to do and that is why this is modular and i think it's a better design here is our uh, modular size and die assembly this is normally how it would get installed into the die you've got your neck shoulder bushing your taper adapter your er11 collet and your knurled top cap the new knurled top cap is countersunk and we'll go into detail later why but one of the, uh, the features that I really like is our neck shoulder bushings are designed to have a little bit of play up and down and side to side. This helps it float and that's, you know, helps with concentricity. But we designed it to where you can stack these supplied 1000s ground shims and that'll help adjust your headspace in 1000s increments. Plus it can uh, take up some of the play so you've only got a thousands or two of uh, a float. So that's kind of a nice little feature on our new modular sizing die. Show you our new ER11 knurled top cap. Uh, you're, you're gonna notice it's a little bit longer. We also countersunk the top of it and we did that so that way we can use these small 25 thousandths thick shims that you can use to uh, fine tune your uh, decapping pin protrusion. All right, so that way you don't have to mess with the clip. You've got a finer adjustment. But also for your expander mandrel, the uh, ground section right here, which is about 300 thousandths, you can use these uh, washers or these shims to bring and pull your, your uh, expander mandrel up and get it right below your neck shoulder junction when you're a full cam over. That way when you start to pull your brass out of the die, the neck shoulder bushing hands the brass immediately off to the, uh, the expander mandrel. All right, what we're gonna do is show you how to set up your modular sizing die in a reloading press. Right here we have an area 4190 press and uh, this process will be very similar for other presses. So we're gonna go ahead and back our die off a little bit. We're gonna run our ram all the way to the top and we're going to thread the die down until the bottom of the die touches the shop, top of the show holder. We're then going to lift the handle up to lower the ram. We're gonna bring the die down just a little bit more. And we're gonna thread the lock ring and tighten it up. Uh, with other presses, you'll get a little bit of cam over. With the 419 press, you're not gonna have that. At this point, your die is ready to, uh, to size some brass. We've got a BRA modular sizing die already set up. In the press, we went ahead and set it up just how we showed you. We've got a 266 neck shoulder bushing, and I've got a piece of fired brass that's zeroed on our dial caliper. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out, run it through the die. We're gonna check it, and nothing changed. So I've already got a shim stack set up of what we're gonna to need to get our appropriate headspace. The shims that are gonna come with it are gonna be in one thousandths increments. You just grab the shims, drop them on, and you're good to go. I'm gonna snug it back down. I didn't have to pull the die out. I didn't have to play all those games. And then just run it down and we're gonna check it again. Okay, I've got the appropriate headspace that I was wanting. So I'm gonna go ahead and just check it with our concentricity gauge. And we're less than a thousandths. We've got our fired, unsized piece of six BRA brass right out of the rifle. We've got a 271 neck. 
we're going to set it in here and we've got our BRA modular sizing die with a 249 neck shoulder bushing. We're going to make this piece of brass into a 22 BRA. I've got a lube and I'm going to run it through in one shot. I'm going to go ahead and measure the neck right at 249. Now we're going to check the concentricity. This is without an expander. This is just our decapping pin. And we're pretty much almost at zero run out. It's perfect. We sized, you know, almost 20 thousandths in one shot with our new modular sizing die. Here is a, a little accessory package of what can ship with your modular sizing die. Every die is going to ship with a box with the foam. Uh, everything is nicely packaged. It's going to keep everything safe. Everything looks great. We've got one of our, uh, locking ring and knurled top cap wrenches that we make these are available we've got uh this is a 22 cal expander uh, pretty soon we're going to have solid carbide decapping and expanding mandrels that are all one piece this is an expander we've got a 22 a 6 and a 25 bra neck shoulder bushing just to kind of show you what you can do with your modular sizing die plus every die is going to come with a shim kit which will allow you to adjust headspace in one thousandths increments, as well as adjust your um, your decapping and expanding mandrels uh, up or down in twenty five thousandths increments. The modular sizing die is thoughtfully designed. It's beautifully executed, and it offers more value and performance than any die in the market. Go ahead and click in the link below for more information, and leave us a comment below to let us know what configurations you would like to see. Thank you for watching.